Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will see how we can download and install latest Ubuntu Linux in a VMware workstation. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let me open browser here. And now after opening browser, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the latest Ubuntu Linux. For that, I'm going to simply write here Ubuntu download. Now let me hit enter and there we go. Here we can see the first site is from Ubuntu now here we need to click on accept all and then let's click here on download 24.04 lts now this will start downloading latest ubuntu desktop in your system now here we can see we are downloading it so let's wait for the download process to get completed and there we have it here we can see we have successfully downloaded the latest ubuntu iso now the next thing here what we're going to do is let's run a vmware virtual machine and and let's open it now here what we need to do is we need to click on create a new virtual machine now here we need to locate the ISO file that we just downloaded for that let's click here on browse and now I'm gonna locate my Ubuntu ISO now let's click here on open and then I'm gonna click on next and then here you can personalize your Linux by providing name username and password so let me quickly fill this information now by clicking here on browse you can define the location where you would like to keep your virtual machine and that option is really crucial in case you have got a very less of disk space available then in that case you can select this pc and you can select the drive where you have adequate amount of space in my particular case i'm gonna keep it as it is now let's click here on next and then here we have got these two options either to make a single virtual disk or split virtual disk into multiple file i would say in order to save space second option make more sense however we can also see the trade-off here splitting the disk make it easier to move the virtual machine to another computer but may reduce performance with a very large disk this means that if your linux virtual machine become too big Let's say you have got 15 to 20 parts of 20, 20 gigabyte each split disk. Then in that scenario, you may face performance lag. So if you are planning to install a lot of content in your virtual disk, it is recommended to either go with this first option or you can actually increase the maximum disk size. Now in my case, I'm going to install only selective apps and probably I will be using four or five parts of 20 gigabyte. And that is also true with majority of folks. So in that scenario, we can keep all these settings as it is. Now let's click on next. Now let's start customizing with RAM. So I'm going to give it 16 gigabyte of memory. So you can actually have a look on how much the maximum memory available in your system. So here I can see it shows the maximum memory here I have is 64 represented by this blue triangle and the minimum recommended memory which is represented by green triangle is 4 gigabyte. Now let's go here on processor. Again based on your system you can choose the number of processor cores that you want to give it. I'm going to give it 4 out of 20 cores that I have. Now let's move on to network adapter. Here also I'm going to keep it as it is. Then let's go here in USB controller. So here also you can either select 3.1 or you can select 2.0. I would recommend you to go with USB 3.1 first. But I have seen that there are a lot of incompatibility issues. Then in that scenario you can actually downgrade and make it USB 2.0. So personally I'm going to select USB 2.0 so that you know I do not face any incompatibility issue. Now let's go here on sound card. Again I'm going to keep all these settings as it is. Or let's say you want to define a particular sound card. Then you can also go with that. But again I'm going to select this default host sound card. Now let's talk about display here. So I believe the display setting is also correctly specified. And then here either you can manually select your monitor or you can also keep host setting for monitor. You can also make it multi monitor setup if you have. Now for the timing again I'm going to keep it as it is. Then from here you can choose the maximum amount of guest memory that can be used for graphics memory. So it is recommending me to go with 8 gigabyte and I do agree with it and then I'm gonna keep this setting also intact. Now let me click on close. Now let's click here on finish and now it will power up our virtual machine and there we go. 
So initially you may see, you know, your Ubuntu is not full screen. Not to worry guys, we will be fixing it later on when the Ubuntu will be completely installed in our virtual machine. Now here we can see the setup started. Now from here you can choose your language. I'm gonna go with English so I'm gonna keep the setting as it is. Now let's click here on next. Now here you can actually customize the accessibility which is I would say really nice to have because they are providing this option at front which I would say is really nice to have. But in my particular case I'm not going to change any of this setting but in certain scenario it could be really useful. Now let's click here on next. And then again from here you can choose your keyboard layout. I'm gonna again keep it as it is. Let's click on next. Now here we can connect to the internet and seems like there is an update available for installer. So it's up to you if, if you would like to go with the latest installer update. Although I would say I just downloaded the setup from official Ubuntu. But still I would say having latest is always a good deal. Now it is asking us to close the installer. So let's do that. And seems like we again need to run it. Now again we need to run the setup here. So let me click here on install Ubuntu. Now let's again select the same option. And then here this time I'm going to skip this. Now here we have got two types of option. Let's go with the first one. Then here you can choose either to go with a minimal installation or you would like to go with extended selection. I'm going to go with extended selection. The next option here is to choose the third party software for graphics. So let's select these both. Let's again click on next. Now this option will erase the disk. So let's go with the first one again next. And here we need to create our account. So let me quickly create the account. And then here you can also fill other information. It's totally up to us. So I'm going to change it to Technoholic. And then here, let me create the password. And then let's click on next. Here you can choose your location. And now the last option is to install. So let's click on it. Now we need to wait for the installation to get completed. Now this process will take some time to install Ubuntu. And there we go. Here we can see we have successfully installed the latest version of Ubuntu Linux in VMware Workstation. Now here what we need to do is we need to restart our system. So let's click here on restart now. And now we need to enter our credential here which is the ID and password we have created in our previous step. And after restarting, it seems that nothing is happening and I found the root cause of it. So the root cause of this problem is we need to make some adjustment in our display setting. So let me quickly do that. For that, I probably may need to restart this whole VMware. So let me actually do that. Now let me click here on edit virtual machine setting and then here we need to click on display and then uncheck this accelerate 3d graphics option and we need to go to our virtual machine and here we need to modify this vmx file so let's make a right click on it and do open with and now here we need to search for svga.vram size so let's say if it is available then it's good or else you can create a new row and add this and now increase the vram size to this much and then we can close this and rerun your ubuntu linux again after rerunning you should be able to see your screen perfectly now let me click here on next and then uh, i'm gonna skip this setup for the time being and let's click here on finish now the next setting i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna click here on this so apps and then let's go here in settings display and then from here resolution i'm gonna choose my monitor resolution which is okay now let me click here apply 
and there we go guys i'm gonna keep change and then let me also make it full screen and let's also increase the scaling by 200 percent and seems like it looks too big so we can actually enable fractional scaling and now i can make it 125 and let's again choose the 4k resolution and there we go now in order to further improve the performance what we can do here is we can go up and then look for vm and then install vmware tools however in this particular case it shows disabled so what i can do is i can actually go to our terminal so let me type terminal and then we can start with updating our linux by typing sudo apt get update and then we need to provide our password here and then hit enter after updating ubuntu let's now download vmware tool for that simply type the following which is sudo apt get install open vm tools and hit enter and then you need to press y and there we go here we can see uh, we are about to install vmware tool and seems like we have successfully installed it now let me click close and here you can see it now says reinstall vmware tool which kind of you know let you know that you now have installed a vmware tools now let me again restart this linux for the last time Now finally our Ubuntu Linux is ready to use. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content related to productivity. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.